I were really pleased the three of them have, have joined the team, joined the academy. Um, they've already integrated really well with the rest of the staff and the players. Um, we are looking forward to introducing them to the younger age groups uh, upon their return and looking forward really to the, to the rest of the season. I'm really delighted to be welcoming three um, new academy ma members of staff uh, to the club. They will be covering three key areas for the academy really in, in head of coaching, head of education and head of medical. The three outstanding candidates really have, have been identified through a, a really thorough process. The panel who, who took part in those interviews, you know, the, the first team manager came in on, on them, the, the sporting director, the general manager, the head of safeguarding, uh, head of operations across the interview stages. We're really delighted really to, to have them join in the academy. They are very experienced. They've been at um, many different clubs throughout the years. And um, yeah, we're, we're excited to have them working with our players in our academy. And it, it's just a, another positive step really for the academy in the direction uh, this club is, is wanting the academy to go in. Luke Hussey joins us uh, as head of coaching. Um, Luke has vast experience and has been head of schoolboy coaching at Bristol City for a number of years now and, and had real success there. So uh, I think we, we're all aware of the success stories that have come out of their academy in, in recent years. And yeah, we're, we're excited in the part Luke can play with, with our young academy players. We have Jamie Sherwood joining as Head of Education and, and Jamie again is very experienced not only in coaching but also in education and, and he's headed up the education programme and footballing programme at uh, Cardiff Vale College for a number of years now. And then we have Elliot Faulkner joining um, as Head of Medical. Elliot um, is originally from America and has experience of working with Birmingham City and Coventry City in this country so we're really delighted to, to be welcoming all three to the Academy and excited for them to, to get going really. I'm really excited about joining this programme. I, I can see a lot of positives and a lot of um, benefits to the players in, in a holistic approach and I'm looking forward to learning about that and maybe adding to it where possible. I'm a big believer in uh, the programme being a long-term development programme where we can give players time and affordances to, to learn and make decisions and be better players and create an environment that's both fun and challenging at the same time. Uh, part of my role is to help develop the coaches um, to help them deliver the programme as well as they can but ultimately the bottom line is to uh, help individual player development and be the link from the first team through the professional development phase into the YDP and then the FP. I'm really excited about uh, coming in and, and helping to shape some of these indiv individuals into um, lifelong learners not just footballers but learners and, and people that uh, individuals that want to get involved in and embrace their education. Um, I think that's really important. Um, again the exciting part is for me is, is shaping the the individuals that we've got, the personalities, watching them grow, watching them develop, not only as footballers but as people. And again, with that sort of that learning aspect, making sure that they they fulfil their potential as as uh, as individuals in in academics as well as individuals in football. Joining Newport, it's exciting to get involved in a club that has really good community ties. Uh, it's tight knit. Everyone there knows each other, and everyone there gets on. And you are able to make a difference, you're able to make a change. And I think that especially coming into this setup and having the potential to do a lot of good and to uh, push the club forward and forward is what excites me really about the, the whole potential of seeing where we can go for next season um, and seeing how much improvement we can make season to season. I'm a big believer in that um, there just has to be consistency throughout the academy programme and we need to mirror as much as possible to show consistency with what the first team do. So you'll see practices looking 
um, similar but age appropriate that the first team would do. Style of play needs to match how the first team play. And ultimately, um, you know, our purpose is to deliver players ready for the first team um, and understanding the philosophy and the way of playing. Day to day, I'll be working with all the full-time lead coaches, helping them plan uh, fixtures, training sessions, looking at individual player development plans, and also helping develop them individually, looking at a programme that will um, increase their knowledge of the game, able to plan sessions that will um, deliver better outcomes. Really looking forward to getting to know the players, um, meeting their family, um, getting to know them better, working with all the, and building upon the good work that's already happened here. There's, there's lots of um, good practice happening here. Um, as I said earlier, it's you know, a really good holistic programme and I'm looking to, to learn myself around that, but look to build upon it. And uh, yeah, just, just make sure that everybody's comfortable being challenged and progressing as they can in their development. So my role within the academy is, uh, the main focus is the education programme and making sure that um, the education through the, educa uh, through the academy programme is uh, robust enough and dynamic enough to and allow our individuals to, to flourish. Developing the, younger, the younglings of the club, bringing the, the young players through, bringing through with the right standards, the right ap application within their, their school lives so when, when and if they do get to that scholar programme and, and become part of that 16 to 19 year old programme that we're not having to change many behaviours, we're actually just enhancing their behaviours and ha enhancing that, that thirst and that, 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 that development within that education programme. Um, and I think that's my biggest, biggest area within the, the academy. What will I be doing? I'll do whatever it takes to get these individuals to achieve, um, both on and off the pitch, making sure that we wrap, give them an, enough wraparound care in terms of their education, in terms of their, their well-being, making sure that they're getting what they need to be to be the best indi individuals they can be. And I think that's, that's going to be crucial to, m to my role, to the relationships we're going to have with those players, but not just the players, but the parents and the carers and the, and the, and the guardians that are going to be helping with that, that wraparound care and that support that allows these individuals to achieve their, achieve their dreams and, and one day play for, for Newport County First Team. As a physiotherapist in the academy, I think that my role will be uh, further helping on with the performance staff, the coaching staff that we have here to really get the best out of our players, make sure that they're there as much as they can be and to also get them back when things go wrong. But at the same time, I think my moral is a bit more holistic than that, that I'm able to impact upon these players a bit more knowledge about their own health and make sure that they're set up to live a good healthy life. They know what to do with their bodies and how they can carry that forward, whether they become a professional footballer or not. In the academy, I will be looking after any type of physical needs the players have. That could be from sorting out conditioning sessions and training sessions to get the players that extra edge, often on the pitch, and also looking after anyone who gets injured, making sure that they have a good diagnosis and a good plan to get back to full health. And finally, I'm there all the time on the touch side in case any emergencies happen to make sure the players are safe.